not in the top 300 in the heavyweight division. He's done. Okay, well, Booker come to win. There we see Rydell Booker. The other one that picked him. The other four of us, including Max Kellerman, all selecting James Lights Out Tony. I don't know if he was hungry. I don't know why he's doing that with his mouth. He's got a fishing TMJ. He got him a baseball hat. TMJ, he is taller. I love the music, though. Anybody that comes in the sax is I'm a fan of. Come to fight. Yeah. You, you like his look, Chris? He, hey, he's ready. He's looking focused. Yeah. But it, all about when the bell rings. That, uh, the walk into the ring, sometimes that but kill you know, they guy. they put that music at a funeral in New Orleans, too. That's all I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're about to start the second line, as that's called. <laughs> well, he looks good. He looks confident. Of course, he is young. Just 23 years yeah. old. Sweet 22 gloves. and 0. And he is ready to nice step shirt. to James yeah, Lights Out Tony tonight. Now, Lights uh -oh. Out, of course, ranked number three by Ring Magazine as far as contenders. Vitaly Klitschko on top, then it is you, Chris Bird, and then it is John Ruiz. The top three hold belts. Oh, yeah. James Tony says uh -oh. he wants to unify uh -oh. the heavyweight division. Uh -oh. This, of course, is his first step back, and he is just starting to enter the grand ballroom. Here he, there he comes. comes. Oh boy. Uh -oh. oh boy. Is Tur it possible it can be a little too emotional tonight, Chris Burke? No, no, James is always like this. Like I said, he's a veteran. Yeah, so he is. knows what to do in the ring and before a fight, he's ready. Oh my god, is he ready? It all depends on right now. He's right now. running into the ring almost. He's calm, man. I never saw anybody walk this fast. Yeah. Now, guys, just in case you're wondering. There has been bad blood between these two. You saw it Monday during the introductory news conference on our set. It continued Wednesday at the weigh-in when Booker blew lights out Tony a kiss. Yes. And then we had a little smackdown. Yeah. But now the fist will be flying for real. As wow. you can see, security dividing the center of the ring. And this is no joke because lights out Tony was flat out nuts earlier this week. We will see you after the fight, and also we'll have Tom scorecard in between rounds. But right now, let's send it down to the men who will call the fight. Barry Tompkins and Max Keller. All right, Guys. thanks very much, Chris. Well, uh, we are in the chaos of ringside here. Both fighters having made their entrance into the ring. And uh, Max, let's talk, first of all, about the meaning of this championship, which in all honesty is really not very much. What this fight is all about is James Tony. There are a million belts. None of them are worth anything except the Ring Magazine belt because it's the only honest broker of the sport. Vitaly Klitschko is the real heavyweight champion of the world. If James Tony beats Rydell Booker tonight, he may get the next shot at Vitaly Klitschko. All right, so let's take a look at the numbers. They don't always tell a story, but there are a couple of numbers here as we look at the tail of the tape that do jump out at you. One, the clock is ticking, obviously, for James Tony. He's 36 years of age. 220 pounds, that's the weight of Booker. Three fights ago, he weighed 195, and people who were at that fight told me he looked soft. So let's see what he brings to this dance at 220 pounds. Let's meet him now. We go to the center of the ring. Jimmy Lennon. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you and welcome to Pachanga Resort and Casino in Temecula, California, as it's time for the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Goose and Tudor and Lights Out Promotion in association with the best damn sports show, period, and Pachanga Resort and Casino. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the WBC, President Jose Suleiman, Supervisor Rex Ross Walker, the IBA President, Cy Young Award winner Dean Jantz, Supervisor Bob Case, and the California State Athletic Commission. The chairman is Chris Mears. At this time, introducing to you our three judges scoring this bout from ringside. We have Hall of Fame official Marty Denkin, Barry Druxman, and Frank Garza, and the third man of the ring, the referee in charge of this bout, Raul Kais Sr. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Continental Americas and vacant IBA Heavyweight Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Pachanga Resort and Casino in Temecula, California, it's time for the main event of the evening. Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks with white trim. Joining us from Detroit, Michigan, he weighed in at 220 pounds even. 
a highly accomplished amateur champion. He is undefeated in his campaign in the professional ranks with a record of 22 wins, no losses, 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the former WBC youth champion, currently ranked the number seven heavyweight contender by the WBC, introducing the undefeated Rydell Rock and Roll. the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing green trunks with gold trim, hailing from Ann Arbor, Michigan. He weighed in at 227 pounds. His record stands at 67 wins, four losses, two draws, with 43 big wins coming by way of knockout. He is ranked one of the top contending heavyweights by all major sanctioning organizations, including WBC and WBO number one. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 2003 Fighter of the Year and the eight-time world champion, introducing Once again, a referee in charge, Rao Kais Sr. Now to give instructions, 12 rounds of boxing scheduled. Hold on, sir. All right, let's go, guys, come on. All right, James, I give you guys your instructions downstairs. Remember, protect yourselves at all times, obey your commands at all times. Now shake hands and good luck to both of you. Let's take a look at the WBC championship rules, the rules that will govern this fight. The 10-point must system, of course. Three knockdown rule not in effect, nor will there be a standing gate count. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the final round. Either the referee or the doctor can stop the fight in the headbutt rule. We go to the cards after round number four. Now, sometimes it's halfway, sometimes it's five. In this case, round number four. With that, we are set to go. James Tony will wear the green trunks with the gold stripe, and Rydell Booker in the red trunks. Right out, Booker comes in here very dry. Ready, ready. Excellent. How many times have you oh. seen flash knockdowns when a fighter comes in like that? Yep. Booker's also soft in the middle. You can see it. And though James is at the heaviest weight of his career, it's solid. It looks solid. Booker says he wants to box him, stick and move. That's his plan in this fight. But James Tony is the guy who knows how to cut the ring. He's going to smother you. And I would take an educated guess that he's going to try to work that body. Of course, he's a great body puncher, precise, hard body puncher with both hands. James is more comfortable when a fighter's coming at him so he can counter punch. But he is capable of cutting off the ring. Booker is a very good boxer, especially early in the fight. First four or five rounds, and then he tends to tire. So if James wants to put in that body work now, money in the bank for later rounds. Oh right hand by Booker did slip in here. He's Tony, a good boxer. He is a good boxer. Tony, a guy who will stalk it, as we said, very adept at cutting the ring off. He's, he's a very hard guy to stick and move on, and that's what Booker says he wants to do. Hopefully take him into deep water, take him into the later rounds. Well, except that that's where James Tony excels. He's so relaxed, he can fight a million rounds. It doesn't matter. Rydell Booker's been the one with problems in terms of stamina late in the fight. Another thing we want to point out is that we talked about the weight of Booker at 220. He's actually 10 pounds lighter than his last fight, but he's... 25 pounds heavier than he was just three fights ago when he beat Arthur feet, Williams. But feet, James Tony, Tony, just about a month ago, was 268. He came in at 227. Do you, well, he was coming Both off guys, an injury where he was laid Both up with the Achilles down. problem. Okay. Tendon was torn, so yeah, there wasn't a lot of road work he could do. If you see the way James uses his left shoulder, his front shoulder, he rolls it. Very difficult to land a clean shot on his chin. Gives you a lot of angles. He's the consummate pro. There's no question about it. Double left hand misses by Booker. Nothing Booker just threw landing. Tony just kind of biding his time, seeing what's in front of him. First round, pretty much as we Oh, but that land, yeah, that left nice hand, left hand, quick. Tony, meantime, just stalking him, trying to stick that left hand downstairs. Good right hand of the body, and another by Tony. Hands are free, hands are free, gentlemen. Punch, hands are free. All right, stop, stop. 
break. Let's go. Box. The accuracy of Tony's punches. He doesn't waste much. And a heavy-handed guy, too. Tony just smiled at that combination thrown by Booker. As if to say, is that the best you got? Well, it's also Tony loves to fight. He loves fighting. It shows you a pretty good jab, too. He throws it from his hip, but it gets there. And it gets there in a hurry. Good jab by Booker, and the right hand behind it just the bell, missed. Ten seconds, stop at the bell. Another good body shot. Stop you can tell the plan of Tony, and that is work the body, no question about it. End of one. Not a bad first round, really, for Booker, I thought. Although I thought he lost it. <laughs> I agree, and I thought he lost it. Righto Booker, you can see the guy can move. He has good lateral movement. He has good skills. But yes, he's always lacked conditioning and stamina, and it's especially shown up when he's stepped up in his level of opposition, which has only been twice where you've really fought a name opponent. Both fights, he dominated early and faded late. James Tony, one of the most skillful fighters you will ever see, 2003 Fighter of the Year. Last year, every unanimously Fighter of the Year. You know, his conditioning, it doesn't matter always what he looks like, and he looks t pretty tight this fight, because he's, his body does, because he's so relaxed in the ring. He can fight 100 rounds, and he's so accurate. Nothing's wasted, especially to the body. He turned that fight against Holyfield around in the third round in a close fight. One left hook, he snaked under Holyfield's right elbow. From then on, it was all Tony. And he says, and I think he's right, that he's a better fighter now than he was when he was a promising middleweight and a middleweight champion. Left hand slipped in by Booker, and there's a good chopping right by Tony. Might have been the best punch of the fight. Tony more in punching range here in the second round. The thing about this fight, here's an undefeated kid from Tony's hometown with some hand speed and some real skills. This is not the easiest fight in the world after an 11-month layoff due to an injury. Tony has Booker backing up, and that's exactly how he wants Break. it. Get out of there. Let's go. Box. Booker has been able to slip in a few sneaky left hooks that have landed cleanly. It's not so easy to do against James. Slip the right hand in there. Tony just kind of walks through it. Uppercut, big shot. And that hurt Booker. Did you see the knees buckle? He's so... Tony has mastery of every punch in the book. Hooks and uppercuts from both hands, whether his left foot or right foot is forward, to the head and the body, from long range or inside. It's a masterful boxer. That was an excellent combination. It was a body right, shot stop. and then Take the uppercut. Breath. Take a deep breath, Tony. Let's go now. Tony working the body very effectively here. And another good short right hand. Tony good at at avoiding Booker's right hand, but Booker is getting left hands in there. Hands are free, hands are free. All right, stop. I think Booker Break. has been nice stung a couple times Booker. in this round by the right Let hand of James Tony. Let's go. Box. John O'Grady is with us uh, ringside, and Tony uh, started to do what he wants here. Uh oh, the plan has already been laid. Tony even smiling in there because he knows what he's going to do. He knows what he has to do. He's also allowing Rydell Booker to see that smile. Booker all of a sudden saying, uh-oh, what have I gotten myself into? But he's tough, undefeated. Now they're up cut right on the nose of Rydell Booker. It causes blood to start flowing immediately. When Booker was making comments before this fight, even if I lose, I'm still only 23 and I'm, I'll get and gain experience. Not the kind of talk you'd like to hear before a guy steps in with a guy like James Tony. Those body shots are really starting to have an effect and it's making everything else easier for James Tony. Stop! Break! Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Dominant round for James Tony. And there's that left hook again, though, from Rydell. He is getting that in. Hands See Tony slipping the right hands, keeping that left shoulder just so beautiful. 